All right, all right, all right. Welcome to our first podcast for the Rec Division. Um, before we get started, we'll do a quick introduction. So you start off your introduction. My name is Abira. I'm a play for the Hellcats. Ryan, play for the Legends. Uh, Sajithan, GM and player for the Clippers. Before we get started, we're at week six of ETBL. And uh, Sajithan, your team just came off a wicked, wicked comeback game winner three. You're walking through it. What just what happened? Honestly, it was a, it was a, it was honestly a tough. Um, obviously, one of our toughest matchups since our first game. So we versus Seventy Sixers. We didn't have Malcolm that game. Um, and even then, even when when we didn't have Malcolm, he was one of our X factors. Um, we were down by eight. We lost by five to them. Um, coming into this game, we were we lost our first game after winning three in a row and. Um, the morale was a positive. We, we, we knew coming in we needed a win. Um, one of the biggest uh, things that we were looking for is uh, Benush, uh, one, of, one of the biggest defenders in the league right now, especially in the rec division. And um, I feel that when we put our heads together and making sure we took the proper timeouts, made the proper substitution, even though we were in foul trouble since halftime with all our bigs, four, four fouls in, Asante being fouled out 10 seconds before the game was done, um, we, we knew that that much needed last time we had was beneficial yeah. um, with, I guess, five seconds left in the game. We ran the court. Um, we used that advantage of not taking the advance and we pretty much uh, gave it to Malcolm. Like, Malcolm, do your thing. We did not know he was taking the three. Yeah. It was a tie game. So we took the three. Beneficial was fouled, but the foul was waved off, but the three counted. So it was, it was, it was honestly like, it was there. Yo, honestly, it was the thing. I was in the other court and all I heard was, People screaming, and I ran to a court to take my photos. And damn, it was a it was a good moment. That's good. Well, big ups to the Clippers. That thank was a thank huge, you. huge win. We're four and two, baby. All right, all right. Top three now. Damn, top three. Jeez. Okay, let's get started. Um, I don't think I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> mathematically, mathematically, we'd be top three. Yeah, they're ahead of you, and then mathematically, five mathematically, would be top three if you look at it. Okay. Right, well, so, we'll look at it. We'll go. We'll go through it. <laughs> Nigel, when you when you get a chance, you'll put the standings on uh, somewhere here, and uh, we'll figure it out. You all right? Uh, okay. First. This week. This week. There's two five and zero teams, and then we're four and one. Ooh. Okay. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. The, the stat here will tell us the the truth. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right. So be besides besides you guys, I want to know who do you think will make the finals? Uh. Sorry. Along with you guys. Which other team will make the finals? So, Hellcats? Uh, yeah, so I think a good team is Firing Squad. They got a good big team. Pause. Uh, they got uh, they got the Legends. I got to put them. They just beat us. So, it was a tough fought battle for us. Uh, yeah. Everyone was walking away with injuries. Uh, I hit my head. They took me out of the game. But we're not going to talk about that. Like, that might be the reason why we lost. But... You know, uh, my bad. <laughs> Sixers are a good team as well. They're up the top as well. So I'm just going to give to the top teams a shout out right now. Yo, you're naming the whole league right now, man. We need one team. That's it, man. <laughs> just need one team. All right. Well, you're a good, humble guy. Um, we'll yeah. pass it on to you. Um, I'm going to go five, four or five Sixers. Yeah, yeah. Um, Main reason, like firing squad. Shout out Josh. Uh, shout out Justice. Those are my boys. But um, I think... If they're if they're not balling out those games, then I don't think they're gonna be in it. But uh four five sixers got a lot of a lot of bodies that can go. So I, they're, got, I got them. They're coming back for redemption. The last <laughs> yeah. time I saw them, they they lost a big one. Uh but yeah, they're they 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 changed the squad up and they look dangerous. So yeah, no, I agree. I also got the four five sixers. They're they're a dangerous squad. We we lost to them. Yeah. Uh but that's because we also we didn't have one of our top players too. So I think we can make the finals. With uh, four, uh, four, five, sixers, but I got them as a top if, if it's not us. Fair, fair. All right, well, now I want to talk more about your team. Um, <clears throat> every season, you guys got a new squad, new team, team players, team members. Sorry, uh, talk to me. Who are your X factors or X factor on your squad? Um, we'll start with the Clippers. Um, I will probably go with uh, Malcolm as our top, um, yeah. shooting average about twenty-four ish points a game, around fifty percent from the field goal line. Um, I also have Shane, who's also one of our sleepers. Um, he's averaging close to a double double, but not just there yet. Yeah. He's focused more on the small and on the line. And I would also want to give it to um, 
Dylan, who's our co-GM, as well as he's playing <laughs> off the bench as a six man, guiding the team. He has more veteran experience. Um, other than that, those are top three. And then if I were to say one last person, I would 100% our free agent Jamshad coming in. Yeah. Our starting shooting guard, uh, averaging about 16 points a game. Today he was a little little slower, but he would uh, obviously we have him as our, uh, t- those guys are our top four players right now. Yeah, top, top. Uh, I think it's, there's multiple people. First one's Aaron Cooks, my guy. But, uh, you know, he balled out today. You know, we we got to have a point guard that's, you know, dominant, can take over games and everything like that. So uh, he's doing well. Uh, um, Andrew, you know, he's a, he's a defensive stopper, hands yeah, down yeah. the best three-point shooter this, this year. Yeah. And one of the best in the league right there. And, um, yeah, you know, and there's multiple other ones, right? So, but team, and the last one I'm going to take is, is Nav, right? I know Nav's struggling a little bit, but. No doubt he's the best shooter in this league. No doubt in my mind. So um, once, you know, going back to the semifinals, he had nine, ten threes yeah. and won us the yeah. game. I remember seeing so, that. Yeah. Right. So and once he once he cooks up for uh, for playoffs, then uh, he's massive part. The one thing about legend is every team is one. So the one thing about the team is one every man up, you know, like with one guy's cold, the other guy will step up, which is huge. All right. Hellcats. Yeah. All right, so for me, I'm not going to say the obvious, like the our big three, like me and my bros. I'm yeah. not going to say us. Like, we're all playing like shit, but like if we step it up, um, we're two and three right now playing bad bad basketball right now. Yeah. So I think if we start playing better, we can step it up definitely. Uh, I would give a shout out to Bovey if he actually shows up to a game. Like, he's our <laughs> X Factor. You know, like he can get some extra additional points for us, an extra body on defense, rebounding. And I'll give a shout out to one of our guys off the bench, Viz. He came in clutch for us today. Like he did have like some turnovers at the end, but he was crucial throughout the whole entire game, getting good stops for us. Saying you need an amber alert for Bubby. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Pull up the sixth uh six part. Bubby, show up, man. <laughs> All right. Um, going on to the next question. Um, obviously a lot of you play in the league before, a lot of you play in other leagues and are around with each other. Um, who do you say is your biggest rival or biggest rival in terms of team? Yeah. Yeah, you want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. Uh, obviously, the guy that I'm 0-3 against is Joe and Co. Okay. Like, those guys, like, they can't, I, for some reason, we can't beat them. They ended our season last year, like, we were, we had high hopes, 6-3, and three, blowing out the Blazers at the end, and then we thought we were going to go strong in the yeah, season. Yeah. And it's always those old heads, man. Oh, I, ha- I had my money on you guys last year, man. I yeah. lost a lot of money, man. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate, but... All right, Joe and Co. All right. It's tight, you know. I can say Joe, you know. Oh, I'll say okay. Joe, but, you know, Jeez. just throwing that out there last Jeez. time, but... Go we'll pull up with that. Uh, <laughs> but, yo, yo, you know, zoom, out. Zoom, out. Out. zoom on that. Zoom on that. Zoom on that. Okay, okay. You know, good good game, Joe. Good game last week. Uh, I know. I know that made you upset. It's a little shiny here. It's a little shiny here. But... Um, yeah, I'm going to say Joe or Phil, because I've been playing against Phil Levy for probably about five, six years now. Got a couple titles against him. So, you know, shout out to my lifetime days. So that's my, uh, those are my two guys that I'm. Sounds good. Uh, I haven't been in the league too, too long, maybe a couple of seasons, but if I were to put a, a rivalry team, obviously I'll get four, four, five, six. <laughs> <laughs> Front Shout out to Legends. Front, front out center. Front center. center. All right. Uh, four, five, six years. I play, played them every single season that I, I played in the season. Yeah. Um, we've always been neck and neck with them. And there was never like a, like a blowout game. We've always been neck and neck with them. Yeah. yeah. Um, it came down to the guard, guard roles. Um, and then if I were to say a second team, um, vibes, always neck and neck against Lou. Yeah, um, yeah. And those guys, those guys are always like, they're dogs. They, they know how to play their game. They're, they're old sure. school. 100%. No, for sure. No, those are all good points, guys. Um, my last question um, is the dark horse. Um, there's always that one player or one team that you just you don't know, come out of nowhere and you just to turn the game around. Um, who do you got as your dark horse for the this season? Yeah, I'll go first. Uh, I think Hoop Dreams is a good dark horse. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they're a free agent team, so they got a whole bunch of guys from random places. But uh, I think if they start playing more basketball with each other, like, They'll build the chemistry and they'll end up winning more games. Like they beat Soul Reapers today. Like people had them as a dark horse yeah, in yeah. the first podcast. Yeah, no, no. So they got Shaq. That's a big option for them. And then they got 
Tev as well. And they got Cole Winter. Matt had 20 rebounds last week. Damn. I was like, damn, bro. Like, so if they got they got good pieces around them. Shout my boy Varja, yo. You're on that squad. I got you. <laughs> All right, who you got? Uh, I got Clippers. Easy. Uh, London, man. You know. Thank you for shut up. Thank, 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know people got are some respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know people are talking about uh Josh for MVP, but I got Malcolm as MVP right okay, now. Okay, that's huge. I just I watched him a couple times and uh you know, dark or X Factor, you know, I want to talk about a person. He's a he's a hooper, man. Like he's crafty on the floor, can get bucket anytime he wants. Right, so I like this guy. I, got, I like this guy. They're gonna be tough, man. Because like no, no, I, I don't want to. I want. I don't want to put the Clippers down. But last yeah. last year was a tough one. Still, you know. Yeah, but last, last year was a tough one for them. But um, uh, no, they got some. They got some bodies over there. Big big guys. You know, and Malcolm take over games. So I got them, and uh, I had Soul Reapers, but yeah, they yeah. lost. Dang, so <laughs> they were. Hey, who you are? Uh, I honestly want to say Andrew from Legends. Um, I think he's a, I think he's sleeping. Huh? Championship. He, he knows, no one's sleeping on him. He's a, I think, he's I, a think I think he I think he's cool cooled down a little bit. I think there's more to come, uh, especially after uh, the winter uh, winter break. There's a lot there's a lot to watch out for the Legends. Uh, so I got I got Legends as uh, uh, man. He had a big three team. against us. So I don't think he's cold, bro. He had a big three against us. No, he's he's he's, he's <laughs> he gets he's like three three threes a game. I, I, there's more. There's more, there's more in Andrew. There's more in Andrew. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, there's more okay. in Andrew. Legends. I I got Legends. All right, boys. That's all I got. Thank you for your time. Um, for those that are watching, like subscribe. We got, I got a question for you. Yeah, yeah. As a host, who do you who, who do you see in the finals? You honestly, I, I've been ta- we're, a, we're six weeks in. You should have at least I've one person take, now. I've been taking a lot of, lot of photos, a lot of six teams. I got definitely got the legends and I got the four or five sixers, man. Um I've been I've been following them for a while, uh taking photos and, and that team that team is well well crafted and well 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 molded. So that's that's me. That's who I got. Let's, Sick. let's see. Aaron's boys, thank you, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Two P coming. All right, all right. Shutdown coming up. Thanks guys. Cheers. Shout out to ETBA. <laughs>